Dave Hompers from hpylorisymptoms.com and um, just wanted to uh, quickly address uh, a pretty complex issue in a very simple way if I can, um, which is how H. pylori as a digestive infection can lead to symptoms that are not related to digestion, which kind of sounds a bit funny, but what we commonly see is that when people have these um, uh, these digestive problems, these digestive infections and parasites and things like that, they actually have symptoms that are not necessarily uh, related or restricted to the digestive tract. And there are a couple of reasons why that is. Now, any form of digestive infection is going to impair or inhibit your ability to digest food properly. So, first of all, if you can't break down food and absorb fats, proteins, carbohydrates, sugars, vitamins, minerals, and all these different wonderful nutrients that our body needs to work properly, then you may develop, in fact, you will develop nutritional deficiencies. Medical science has shown us that H. pylori can lead to iron deficiency anemia. It can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. They don't really tend to test any other nutrients, unfortunately, so there aren't really many studies. But when I've tested clients for nutritional deficiencies, either during or after they've had digestive problems and digestive infections, we find all kinds of different nutritional deficiencies. Now all these nutrients are required to get your metabolism and all the chemical reactions in your body working properly. And if they are not working properly, you are going to get symptoms elsewhere in your body, right? So you might have a vitamin B6 deficiency or a B12 deficiency or a zinc deficiency or a magnesium deficiency. And because of those deficiencies, you develop fatigue because your body can't make energy properly. You can't make all the right hormones or brain chemicals properly, which then leads to making you uh, feel moody. You might feel anxious, irritable. Uh, women might develop things like PMS, PMDD, uh, because of the hormonal imbalances that are caused. Uh, there's definitely going to be a lack of energy. There may be some skin issues start to show up. All kinds of different symptoms can start to manifest and present over time simply because you're not digesting and absorbing your nutrients properly. Second, digestive infections have a very uh, acute tendency to cause inflammation in the digestive tract. Any inflammation in your body leads to an elevated level of stress hormones, particularly the stress hormone cortisol. If cortisol is high or it's too high, it can lead to symptoms on its own. Being hyperactive, not being able to sleep properly, feeling anxious, jittery, things like that, shutting down digestion even more. And the more cortisol there is, the less hormone pool there is to make some of the other hormones that help to balance things out. So in a woman, things like progesterone, which is very important for uh, keeping mood stable during the second half of the menstrual cycle. Uh, we often find women who have progesterone deficiencies secondary to elevated cortisol, which is tertiary to actually having the gut problem. So the gut problem underlies everything. And I've seen mood problems, PMS, um, energy issues disappear simply by working on getting the digestion corrected. So just because these digestive bugs like H. pylori and its uh, cousins um, live in the digestive system, it doesn't mean they cannot cause symptoms elsewhere in the body. And um, I really invite you to visit uh, www.h-pylori-symptoms.com so that you can uh, have a look at the other information and the more detailed information that we have on that topic um, at that website. So I'm Dave Hompez. I hope this has been useful for you. And if you have any of these symptoms, don't rule out a problem in your digestive symptom as the underlying cause.